some conversations will be mind-blowing and you'll sit there and you'll have the most profound change. Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Oh no, same here. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. It's been a while. Yes. <laughs> you look so good. You look really healthy. Thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go straight into this from here. No problem. And then for everyone that's now listening, we're going to have an off-camera catch-up later. No problem. Let me just mute my phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. No worries. All right. So, where, where, no. <laughs> so Tamara, where exactly in the world are you right now? Um, I'm in Madrid in, in Spain. I've no. been here for about a month and um, four or five days. I, I leave tomorrow, actually. Right. Yes. So how how has Madrid treated you? i got to say I like Spain. How has yes. it treated you? It's nice. It's very beautiful. Um, the food is nice. The people are very nice. But the weather has been killing me at first, but um, I got over that because I have asthma. So my asthma was yeah. flaring up really badly in the first maybe three, three weeks I was here. For the past two weeks, I've been all right. Um, I still have a little bit of symptoms, but um, it's much better. So I have to focus on that. So what? What is it? What has made it flare up? Is it the weather? Is it the air a quality mixture, combination? A mixture of the weather and the air quality. Before I got here, um, apparently there was Sahara dust, so there was a lot of dust settled on surfaces outside. It, it came from Antigua to find you. So you <laughs> I know, it. right? Because I have to deal with that at home too. And then um, apparently, I didn't know until I got here, um, the air quality isn't that great in Spain from pollution, um, heaters, the soot, the, um, yeah. even the, the cars, there are a lot of cars in the city. So the emission from the cars as well. So all of that, along with the climate, because I don't do well in cold weather either. So nice. That kind of flared everything up, but I'm much, I must say I'm much better. I'm so happy that I feel so much better. Good. You need, so you it, need it to borrow hard. some of this flesh that I have on my body to put on yours and your coat. Will be better. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, or maybe not. I'm sat here right now and I'm absolutely, it's freaking freezing. And I don't, yeah. I think it's something like 11 degrees. But I don't like, even what? get cold. It's not, and I don't even feel cold. <clears throat> the, the cold air, the thin air is just what, clears it up for me I'm not getting cold I'm fine but I guess my lungs or my respiratory system cannot manage the um the air so no so you need to need to do some different kind of breath work exercises probably Le yes. leaning into the other side of me do some breath work get that and I'm not yoga. smoking right now either so oh, that helps seriously no. yeah I haven't been smoking well um so that really helps too. Smoking is bad. And I used to smoke tobacco. I cut that out um, since last <clears throat> November. So, I mean, like all these things should be helping me, you know? Yeah, so, yeah for sure. Yeah. So, so tell, so for people that haven't met you before or tuned into our last conversation, what is it that you've been doing whilst you're in Madrid? I mean, what took you there? Um... But first of all, my best friend lives here. Um, my best friend of 22 years, we met in high school. And she's- So an Antiguan. Yeah, she's an Antiguan. We went to school, high school together. And she moved here from New Jersey in 2017. And I've only seen her one time since she visited Antigua last year. And- um, I've been meaning to, to visit Spain and just see her. Like we only talk on WhatsApp and on the phone and she loves it here. And, you know, I've been meaning to see her and, you know, I, I freelance, I work remotely. So other than DJing, I'm a freelance graphic and web designer. So I don't necessarily have to be in Antigua to work. And I had a cousin, I was visiting um, my family in Florida 
and I had a, a younger cousin and she's like, oh, I want to go to Spain. I've never been. And she was just obsessing over it. So I told her, you know, I have a, a friend here. If you want me to take you, I can just make a trip out of it. Yeah. So I was in the States for a month and, and like a week and how it works because I'm on a U.S. visa. You cannot re-enter the States um, for a short, for, you have to stay out of the States for as long as you've been in. And at the time yeah. I was in for a month and a week. So she wanted to come in her spring break. She's a nurse student. Um, and we came, she came for 10 days, but I had to stay back because I want to re-enter the United States and I had to stay out for as much as I was in previously. So I decided to just, you know, make a trip out of it and spend some time with my friend because we have not been seeing each other. I mean, 2017 to now is almost five years. So I said, you know what? I'll just spend some time with her. I don't have to be in Antigua in the States to work. I can still work here and maybe I can get some gigs. And <laughs> while I'm here- That happened, right? Yes, I did. I, I did play out um, over the Easter weekend in Palma in Mallorca. That's an island off the coast of Spain. It still belongs to, you know, Spain, but it's an island off the coast of Spain. How and, did you um, enjoy that? I like Mallorca. I mean, there's busy bits and there's really quiet remote bits. Yeah. I, I'm more and I experienced quiet. both. Yes, I experienced both because... The person I, that brought me over there, he's an Antigua and he works in the boating industry over there and he also DJs. So we would communicate on Instagram. He's like, yo, you need to come to Spain when you're in Spain. He works at a club there. He's like, I'm going to make sure we get you a night in the club and you can come and play and, you know, we can, we can get a gig together. And I just made it happen. I mean, we've oh. been talking about it and I'm here. So when I, when I knew I was coming, I told him, a few weeks in advance and he organized it I flew over from Madrid and he lives in the city but his girlfriend lives in the country so I was able to experience both and I loved it I really love country life um they're very big on on um vegetation so there are a lot of fruit trees yeah. and I was able to pick an orange off the tree and yeah. make because I was sick you know so yeah, yeah. lemon trees so I was able to make my own juice on the spot, just squeeze it into a glass, uh, um, squeeze it into a glass and have it right there on the spot. It was really oh. nice. I loved it. And the pe I don't know, the people here are so nice. nice. Like it's, it's, it's unreal. Like I never met a, a nice, a nicer set of people in my life as yet. They're very welcoming. Oh. Um, also the reggae dance hall scene is I wouldn't say it's huge, but they do have one. And I was able to experience that as well. Um, playing in Mallorca, the club that I played at is pretty international vibe and I'm open format. So I did play dance or reggae, but also I played some hip hop, soca, Afro beats, um, r and I mixed it up because there are a lot of tourists in Mallorca yeah, as well. Yeah. So it's a mixture of Americans and Africans and um, people from Spain. So it was it was lovely. I enjoyed. And they playing. enjoyed. They enjoyed your vibes. I'm oh, sure. Yes, I I couldn't get any peace during my set because people <laughs> kept approaching me, and even after a lot of people were approaching me, and there were other there were other Antiguans who live in Mallorca there that that are into boating as well. So I was able to play for. Antigans as well so I had cool. the best of everything that night that's awesome isn't it that's such yes, a great yes, that's is. such a great experience so having done that are you going to be back in Spain again there must of be course of like I, I there's so many people <laughs> that I've met that I have at least two other people who wanted to book me but because I they didn't know that I was leaving so soon I mean I think a month is a lot but they didn't know in advance, so they could not make arrangements to have events and, um, I guess, accommodate me being here. So, yeah. of course, I definitely want to come back. I've made a few connections, and it's like, whenever you're back, let us know in advance so we can, you know, prepare the flyer and do promotions so we can have yeah. you. Um, that, that's I was the way the journey is supposed yeah, to be, was, right? Organic. Yes, I was just speaking to one of the promoters who wanted to book me. He actually want, they have a party called Wicked Fridays 
on every first Friday of the month. I was able to attend the one in April because I just got here, but they were hoping that I would have been here for the one in May and I, yes. missed, out, and I missed out on that. And that was very fun. I, I went to the, the Wicked Fridays in April and these people do not speak English, but the way how they embrace our Caribbean music, they're singing word for word. I'm like, I don't even know all, all the words to these songs and I'm a DJ, you know? Like, it was very amazing to see all of that. Like, I really had a good time here, but cool. I also moved home. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So you're going, yeah. But you're going back to the States and then you're going yes. back to Antigua? I am. I'm going back to the States for probably two weeks or so because I left all my equipment there, my streaming equipment. Some of my um my DJ equipment is there because I didn't bring everything with me. So I'm just going to go back, regroup, collect some stuff, probably do a little bit of shopping and head back home for maybe about two months or so and then I'm gone again <laughs> okay. so then yeah. when you go back then back to the states yes and then so I hope cool. hopefully I'll be there until the rest of the year cool so tell me about your time in the states then because you were doing loads every time I saw you online you were going somewhere else lady I yes. was like I can't keep up with her right I did a few gigs there as well I actually have a um have to go support my DJ that's because remember Sister Soul is a group and the yeah. other DJ she's having a gig in New York on Sunday and she wants me to come and, and be her hype girl for the day I was just going to see her but she's like no 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 I think you should come and um, talk on the mic for me because she doesn't do that at all and okay. it's a full female DJ cast and there's only one other DJ on the lineup that talks on the mic so I yeah. guess she wanted to add that to her set so I'm excited about that. That'll be our first time working together. And when she joined the song, she was pretty young. She was only 16. So there are things that we could not do together as adults. Now she's 22. Yeah. So yeah. I'll be able to go out and have an adult time with her. And, you know, we can reconnect and what, bond whatever, in that way. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. <laughs> I mean, she was in high school, so she couldn't be out partying with us at That's the time. Right. Not, not so legitimately. Now, yes, <laughs> not legally. we have that. Yes, we can. We can reconnect in that way. That's yeah. really cool. So, from your from your journeying in the US and from Spain, what's it taught you? What have you learned? What's the learnings from this this time? Yo, know, sky's the limit. The, 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 there's so much out there to do. Like for me, stay, being at home in the pandemic for a year and seven months, that was very mentally taxing. I took being able to just leave and do my thing for granted and being home for so long and then being able to leave and do what I love and, and connect with more people. It taught me that as I said, sky's the limit. I need to, you know, continue to push and put myself out there more. Like, I did not expect to, well, I, as I said, we had this whole thing planned to play in Spain, but I did yeah. not expect to meet so many people that are into what I'm into and then in turn them, them wanting to book me or hire me. I'm like, wow. So I just learned that, you know, not to limit myself and to always be prepared for anything, you know, so... I'm looking I, I forward. Love, I I'm love really that. looking forward. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that yeah. whole thing about the sky is the limit. Um, when someone yeah. looks at us and thinks, well, what are you doing? You can't do that. I'm mm. like, don't put your don't put your limitations on me, because I'm right. I'm gonna do what I choose to do. Yeah. Yep, definitely. People are I did a few interviews while being here back home as well. And People are like, oh my God, you're in Spain. And like, they make such a big deal about it. And I feel like if you want to put yourself in that position, you can, like, you just should not put that limit on yourself. Obviously I have a connection here that made it easier, but there's so many people around the world that are into whatever you're into. You can just make those connections. We have this. We Absolutely. have social media accounts. You can join groups. You can network. And then you can fly to wherever and just, you know, make something out of it. Once you you believe in what you're doing and believe in yourself. 
it's limitless really like I'm excited to see where the rest of my years take me like I learned a very valuable lesson during the pandemic because as much as I was traveling and making connections I still was kind of like reserved and like oh I'm not going to not going to try and do that because I don't know anybody there or it's probably not going to work out they don't know me but no not anymore (laughs) You're you're exuding you're exuding an absolute yeah. confidence and happiness, which is just so lovely to see. Yes, yes. It's, it's so it's so good to see that that richness and that absolute belief. I mean, we 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 all know we've we've all had hard times and we've struggled through years for different reasons. So to come to this space where you're kind of like, fuck that, I'm killing this man. This is yeah. what I want to do. That, and that's yes. where we're supposed that's where we're supposed to hang out we're just yes. supposed to take the learnings and not allow them to keep us crippled and stuck we just need to take yes, the learning definitely I feel a lot of people's reservations or the reason why people feel held back is because of like how they're thinking and how they're perceiving things a lot of it comes from within oh yes there are people out there that are going to be like oh you can't do that and they project or yeah. whatever but a lot of the time, it's us telling ourselves, nah, it's not yeah. going to work. And we need yeah. to get out of that. Or thinking, oh, what, what is this person going to think about me? I wonder if they would like what I'm doing while you're the one living your life for you, you know? So a lot of it is, for me, self-doubt and us holding ourselves back. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's basically putting yourself in your own jail. And, and yes. not realizing that you've got the ability to put the key in the door and open it, you know. And sometimes we might need somebody to help us open the door or look on the other side, and that's fine as well. It's just recognizing, yes. you know, what I can open this door and I can have a look what's out there, and then I can actually go into all these different spaces and go, oh my god, and yes, I can, you know, thrive in that area. I mean, e- even yes. myself recently, finally getting to do my yoga. yoga. Yes, I saw and that. I'm, I've been following. I've been so yeah. happy for you because I know so you've been trying to do that forever. And you just absolutely. like, fuck it, let me just and do I, it. <laughs> absolutely. And it was kind of like, do I really need to be doing this at 55? And I was like, yes, absolutely. Of course. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it doesn't just stop because we get married or we have a partner, or we have the job, or we have this, or we have, it doesn't stop, this whole no, life ex- no. exploration of filling ourselves up is so, so important. Yeah, it should be limitless, really, I can't imagine, like, for me, growing up in the Caribbean, and being influenced by, you know, the Christian lifestyle, and being married, and having kids, like, that in itself too is um, something that holds people back because they feel like they have to just do this and just this alone. I can't do any, I have kids, so I won't be able to do this or I'm married, so I can't leave my husband behind for a few weeks. Like, no, no, you should not allow anything outside of yourself to limit you. Absolutely. Yeah. Here, here, I, here I am, proudly 55, finding myself running my own business. <laughs> working the way that I want to work, learning new things, being a grandparent and having Cali mm-hmm. hair. And then with a, with a son-in-law that just reminds me I'm slightly crazy, a little bit <laughs> nuts. And I'm like, I'll take that. Do you know what I mean? It's literally, I'll take mm-hmm. that. Because if that's, if that's the memory and if that's the, the vibes that I'm inspiring, it's like, you know, we're a long time dead and we're a short time living. So we may as well live it absolutely the way that yes. we want to live it. Of so, course. Uh, we've had we've done this tiny little conversation because this is kind of my new style, really. Just kind of mm-hmm. like just get in and get some get some info. So if you were gonna leave something to resonate for people to percolate on, what would it be? Well, I said this earlier in so many ways, like just do not limit yourself. Do not be afraid to pursue what it is you're truly passionate about and what is driving you inside. Try new things. Like the world is my playground. There's so many things that I still want to do and so many places I want to explore and so many people that I hope to meet along my way. So just don't limit yourself. Like 
Use the resources that you have. This is a yeah. very good one. <laughs> yeah. Make connections. There are so many like-minded people outside of your area and where you're from. And you just never know where you can land yourself. So do not limit yourself. Do not. Do not. Yeah. Be, be, so. limitless. Yes. be limitless. Yes, yes. For sure, for sure. Cool. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I've been wanting to catch up with you, so I'm happy we could have done this for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. So, well, I've been watching you and and seeing you. your We've your been watching journey. Each other. Yes. <laughs> so Come it's really to nice to actually sit just. and talk with you for sure. It is. It is. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off from this one. Okay. No problem. Thank you very much. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>